Hi YouTube, it's Denny and I'm back and I am here to show you my March favorites. So this is going to be a combination of my favorites, some empties and one unfavorite. Um, or if I think of anything else while I'm filming, I'll let you know about that too. So the first item that I want to show you that was one of my favorites is this Revlon Color Stay Powder. Uh, I'm in the shade Light Medium and I absolutely love this powder. The way I wore this was that one day I didn't feel like putting on foundation. My face just didn't feel like it was up to anything and I just threw on this powder by itself and I felt that my skin looked so nice with just the powder and it's not the type of powder that clings on to the patches of skin that you may have if you have more dry skin I have very dry skin and that happens to me and it's hard to find a pressed powder that I like to use because that usually happens but with this one it did not so this has been one of my favorites so far for me the next item that I want to talk about is the LA Colors eyeshadow primer and this guy oh my goodness so I usually wear Urban Decay however Urban Decay is a lot more expensive and usually if you're on a budget you just can't afford spending 20 something dollars for an eyeshadow primer so I ended up getting this in one of my Ipsy bags and I really can't tell the difference between the Urban Decay primer versus the e.l.f. primer versus this primer. To me, they all do the same same exact function on my eyelid. If you find this, go ahead and grab it because I feel that it is just as good as using the Urban Decay. The next thing that I want to show you is, is the Physicians Formula um, Natural Pearl uh, blush and this blush it as you already may know physicians formula is mineral products and this is just the most lovely rose combination and it's light and shimmery but it doesn't have the usual gold tones that some other uh, blush companies might have in it so this one's a more it's like an iridescent finish but not a turning gold if that makes sense so I love this pearl blush with the pearl type finish for days that I don't want to wear a lot of gold. Yeah, this is definitely worth buying. The next product that I um, want to talk to you about is this complexion corrector that I received in my BoxyCharm. I believe the company is Mistura. Um, and I love this complexion corrector because it's sort of like a, a concealer but it corrects the skin and it's supposed to be for all the shades. next product that's in the beauty section of things is a lipstick that I also received in one of my bags or boxes. I don't remember which one. But it's this monocle lipstick, uh, Dusk Till Dawn. And it that's the shade dust till dawn and this is just such a beautiful nude um mauve nude <sighs> amazingly beautiful and i i truly truly am a fan of nude lips more so than anything else because i don't typically like wearing lipstick so nudes are my lips but nicer with just a little hint of color so I do recommend this uh, Party Proof Matte Lipstick. They, it says it's matte. I don't see a matte finish, but it's not glossy. And it feels nice and creamy when you put it on. So unlike most matte lipsticks that dry out your lips or make your lips feel more tight, this one is more creamy and it feels nice. So I do recommend that one. Now, let's talk uh, nail polish. <laughs> one of my all-time favorite, this isn't even like a Mars favorite, all, one of my all-time favorite colors is by OPI and this is the color Dulce de Leche and it is also a nude. <laughs> We're in the theme of nudes. Um, it is a beautiful nude pink uh, shade of nail polish or lacquer and I absolutely adore this on the nails because I love the look that you have when you have just a, a soft neutral tone to your nails. It just makes it look so elegant and that is what this does. This is a favorite that I 
I had since last year. However, it, w it took me a long time to find it in stores. I just couldn't find it and recently was able to find it at my Ulta and picked it up. So I wore it a lot of uh, days during the month of March. Had to talk about that. Now let's go to tools. Tools. Okay, so I, I want to talk brushes. This is a Real Techniques brush. And truthfully, I could use any of their brushes because I believe these brushes are by far some of the best brushes that I've used. And I just, I don't know. Um, you know, Sam and Nick really got it when they made these brushes because they're perfect for at least my face and I know that a lot of youtubers already use them so I'm showing you the multitask brush but truthfully I could have picked any of them because they're just terrific brushes and if you're in the market for a good uh, set of brushes for your eyes they have a kit just for for eyes they have a kit just for face and you can they have other brushes that you can mix and match and get your perfect brush set. So I do recommend these. Now, the next thing that I wanted to talk about is this sharpener by Milani. It's so weird. You don't ever talk about sharpeners on here. But I find that if you use a pencil type liner or a lip liner that's a, a wood pencil, you need a good sharpener to sharpen it. And I had several uh, sharpeners in my set, but this Milani one is just terrific for sharpening my pencils. It is has a hole, the big hole and a small hole and it's just perfect and it sharpens them at, to the point where you don't get that um, if you start using it they don't break and the wood doesn't start cutting into your skin you know so it's a perfect sharpen and I do recommend this. Um, one of my unfavorites and I'm gonna add this in here right now was the elf sharpener because I purchased that sharpener as well I needed something really really quickly to sharpen my pencils I do not recommend it that is one of my unfavorites something that I will never purchase again because it does this weird thing where when you sharpen it it makes the point have like a little divot in the inside of it and it also it doesn't sharpen the pencil to its full capacity because of that uh, plastic that's holding it and I tried to undo or, or break or fix what was doing that but it was something that was already molded that way and it just made a mess out of one of my pencils and I do not recommend it so if you're in the market to get a sharpener I do not recommend the elf one at all I prefer uh, you know try try to get any other brand that's a look at them really good to see if they're going to sharpen and I do recommend the, the Milani one. The, the next item that I wanted to talk about is a weird one because it's not even like a beauty product but it's essential. <laughs> this <laughs> deodorant oh my goodness so like yeah we all need deodorant but this degree one I fell in love with this new shape to it and the spray nozzle I love the fact that I don't have to roll it on and this does not get on my clothes I can just spray it right on and it, it takes me back to when I was growing up and most deodorants were aerosol deodorants like they they weren't roll on that I could remember I remember getting secret in the big <laughs> chunky bottle that uh, that you sprayed on so this just makes me feel very reminiscent to my childhood and um, it actually stays on uh, just as long as a regular solid uh, deodorant so I do recommend this and this was one of my favorites because I don't like wearing solid deodorants I don't like the rub off that you can get so yes <laughs> that guy <laughs> Now we can go to our to my empties. I don't know how most YouTubers can I don't understand how they can keep empty bottles because this just really was hard for me. My OCD just like kicked in and I just wanted to throw things out, but I was like, "No, I need to hold on to these things because I need to show some empties, I guess." It was the hardest thing I can do, but Nonetheless, I was able to hold on to three things and um, they were this Mary Kay, um, this is an eye makeup remover and I used the whole bottle as you see. 
I will not be repurchasing this just because it is a good product but I find that I still have to wipe my um, my mascara off a couple of times I have to use a couple of pads and I do not like rubbing on my eyes so I don't think I'm gonna repurchase this yeah um, I did finish it. I did like it during the time that I was using it. I like the Lancome version of this stuff much better. The next item that was an empty, whoo, and I know you probably remember this from one of my favorites in uh, February. So this was the Skin So Soft um, Bath Oil, and this was in the Jojoba Oil scent, which I absolutely love, and as you see, I finished the bottle and my skin has never felt better than when I've been using this so this is definitely a repurchase for me although I don't have to repurchase it now because I have another bottle I bought two of them when I did purchase them so yes and the last item is the <laughs> is a hair product is the herbal essences mousse the tussle mousse um, in tussle me softly I guess and I usually, I don't like putting a lot of product in my hair, but when I do, I like something softer. This herbal essence is nice and it doesn't get real crunchy when you use it. So this was another empty. So that was everything that I wanted to show you. Those were the good, the bad, and the empty. <laughs> So, um, I hope you liked watching this video. If you did, go ahead and click like. Let me know your thoughts by commenting. And also, if you want to subscribe, uh, go ahead and click subscribe. Um, as always, from my house to yours, love ya!